So firstly, our question is take Wenzhou as a demo, which has been dominated by traditional manufacturing mm -hmm. industries. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, with the development of internet, it is difficult for traditional industry to get a strong living space, mm -hmm. especially for the SMEs. Mm -hmm. Among them, how can digital reform be used mm -hmm. to save SMEs? Oh, okay, so have you ever heard about it? Uh, manufacturing 2025 or the China, Made in China initiative of the 2025? Yeah. Oh, okay, really? So that, that is exactly what the Chinese government is now doing, mm -hmm. okay, to help the small and medium sized enterprises to transform their business model into the more advanced business models and in you know, order to make more money in a more better way, okay? so. Chinese Manufacturing 2025 initiative is totally supporting the small and medium-sized enterprises, not only in Wenzhou but all around the China. So absolutely, small and medium-sized manufacturing or the traditional enterprises think to apply and get support from the Chinese government sponsorship and the Chinese, Chinese government uh, the, the support. And uh, maybe absolutely they can apply for that and uh, absolutely they can get it. They can get a systematic the support from the Chinese government now. Okay, the China Manufacturing 2025, Made in China 2025, that's fully supporting the small and medium-sized enterprises to transform their business. Mm. So, okay, thank you for your answer. Let's start our question two. Uh, maybe I'd better to talk a little bit more about it. Uh, another examples. A uh, traditional manufacturing business, small and medium-sized enterprise or the small and medium-sized traditional manufacturing or the small size of the yes. manufacturing traditional business is one thing. Mm. Okay. However, Wenzhou has a lot of those kind of things. Okay. Mm. Good. However, we'd better to think about a transform our business models for more better advanced business models. For example, Wenzhou is very strong in the traditional manufacturing something, small size and uh, small, small enterprises and man manufacturing small, small things by hand, okay? They can help, yeah, okay? They can get help from the Chinese government, okay? Good, however, it's time, I think, it's time to transform our business model. Mm -hmm. For example, a few number of my students, business students, went to Beijing, Shanghai, or the Shenzhen area to take the, their summer internship. And then my students repeatedly, repeatedly report that, okay, so absolutely those Beijing, Shanghai, or the Shenzhen businesses is totally transforming to a more service-oriented, or the customized, and based on the advanced technology. More specific example is one of my students who worked at the Beijing, Jingdong.com, JD.com, Jingdong.com, and she was surprised and she was working for a small convenience store owners to take their Jingdong technology and the Jingdong business model. But however, she was totally unhappy because that whenever she tried to persuade the smaller size of the retail shops, convenience stores and the many business owners they are, they were reluctant to take those kind of technology because and they, their reaction looks like this oh I don't know I don't know anything about it, the technology I have no idea about that and I would keep my business model I have no idea about the mobile I have no idea about it, the new technology artificial intelligence what are you talking about really yeah. so then so then my, uh, my students reported that, okay, that is not a problem of the technology itself. That is the problem of the acceptability and the awareness. That's the problem. That's the root cause of the problem of why our transformation from the, in the traditional industrial something into the more advanced business model. So then I totally agree with that. 
acceptability, accepting the new technology, accepting the new business model, accepting the change is one thing. And then in order to do that, we should have a better mental schema, mental model. Mm. Mm. So that, I think that is the root cause of that. I think you said right. Mm -hmm. So let's turn to mm. question two. What do you think are the key points of business mm. incubation? Moreover, mm -hmm. what should you focus on? Mm -hmm. Is it cognition technology mm -hmm. or other aspects? Mm, as I said before, okay, technology is not a big problem. Mm -hmm. And fortunately or unfortunately, I was an engineer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was a mechanical engineer. I worked at the boat more than ten, more than seven years as a professional, professional engineer. So technology itself, we can use it. We can take it. Okay, absolute technology is one thing. But however, the, from my yeah. So as I mentioned before. My students reported, okay, so this is not a problem of the technology itself. Jingdong.com, they fully support their technology. They will fully support their, they, they are ready to share their knowledge. They are ready to share their technologies and a lot of resources with the convenience store owners. But convenience store owners, small retailers, they are not ready. Mm -hmm. So I think as a management teacher, as a business teacher, I think this is not a problem of the technology itself. This is a problem of the mental schema. We call that is a mental schema. Mental schema is a mental mode. We are ready to change. It's a it's a it's a decision of the mindset. Okay. If you are ready to change, people will change. However, if people do not want to change, what can we do? Yeah. So this is a problem of the acceptability and that this is a problem of the awareness mm -hmm. so that absolutely right now if we observe our change speed is not very satisfactory our speed of the change is not going well we do better to think about our brain we do better to think of our mind yes okay so Awareness. Consequently, yeah, consequently, and I can say this is a problem of the learning, oh. learning problem. People are ready to change. Can we make that kinds of the learning? Mm. Oh, so I think this is a problem of the cognition something. And then, oh, a long story short, I would like to say this is a problem of the learning. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So let's turn to our last question. How management science can help traditional industries mm. to achieve a smooth transformation? Mm. Could you please share your suggestion for current mm -hmm. manufacturing? Okay. Mm. Sure. Uh, in our business world, okay, so we have a word of this, how people learn. So the, I said, okay, so learning is the key point. Learning is the key point. Learning, throughout learning, we can change our thinking, we can change our mindset. However, how we can make people learn? That is the question, mm -hmm. okay? And then many people think of that. Learning can occur at the classroom, yes. okay? And the learning can occur from, yeah, somebody will teach, somebody will say, and somebody will talk, and then I listen and I change? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, learning do not occur at the classroom, okay? So we have a word of the 1027 rule. Mm. 1027 rule in learning. 10% of learning occurs in the classroom or the more, in more structured forms. However, 20% of learning comes from the learning from others, learning from observation, mm -hmm. okay? However, more than 70% of learning from learning by doing, okay? However, learning by doing, okay, if we can change the people's mindset, people's, people's thinking, okay, they can, they can occur later. However, in order to make people learn something, and in order to push the people to change their mindset, okay, the best way is we do better to show our best examples. Okay, 
people learn from examples, not from propaganda, not from the talk, not from the listening. People learn from examples. Okay, so we have a few number of examples of the showing our examples. Um, recently, the Wenzhou One Heart and the Wenzhou TV sequentially, sequentially broadcast their examples of the successful Wenzhou businesses in the TV. Mm. Okay, and absolute that is one of the best examples. And we do better to show our best successful Wenzhou business success stories and. We do better to show how those successful Wenzhou business people transform their business models into the into the better business models, and then by using the support from the government and how they can change their traditional industry, tra traditional industrial subsidy into the better business subsidy. So that no matter what, we don't need to push. We do better to show our best examples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that absolutely. That can increase the sense of urgency and the sense of purpose and the sense of the acceptance. Mm -hmm. So I think that is a, that is one thing that is that is very that is very important. And uh, you know that uh, we already have that kinds of examples in Wenzhou Kane University. And yeah, last year, Wenzhou Kane University College of Business and I and a few number of the students made uh, artificial intelligence-based uh, robot systems to make a sustainable the trash bin or the, uh, the waste management control system. Mm -hmm. So that we were exposed to the Wenzhou TV. So absolutely, that is our effort. And then we do better to show the college, Wenzhou Kane University and the college, industry, and the municipal government work together to make a regional and a national innovation. We call that as a triple helix innovation model. Again, college, municipal government, industry, the three tri 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 triangles, we work together. And then we do better to show our best examples for people. We don't need to push, we don't need to teach, but we do better to persuade by our examples. Okay, I think that is the most important thing I do now. Mm. So thank you for your answers and understanding of the call of the industries. Mm -hmm. And let's finish our interview. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay, that's thank it. you so much. Thank, thank you. you.